This video will look at checking for empty date fields in Flow Designer in ServiceNow. Um, so I'm in a requested item, and what I want to do is <clears throat> have a subflow that checks if the estimated delivery date is blank or empty, uh, it, uh, the flow will add a work note that says uh, estimated delivery is empty. Um, so I'll head over to Flow Designer, and I have this uh, subflow already set up. And in my inputs, I have a um, requested item, uh, which is actually a reference field. So I, I can uh, give it a, an entire record. Then I have an if statement. And um, or let's get rid of that. <clears throat> uh, so in my if statement, I want to say, if the estimated delivery date And usually, uh, for string fields and lots of other fields, you have an option in here, is empty. Uh, but for date fields, we don't have that option. So you might think, and I, I tried this, well, we can just say on blank, right? Uh, leave it like that. And so if that's the case, then Go ahead and add a work note, missing estimated delivery date. So let's save that and do a test. And I think over here we're in uh, 002. So we run that and we get an error. Um, and if we go into the logs, it's going to com be complaining about uh, this portion here, the on. It doesn't like that uh, because we don't have a value filled in. Uh, so the way to get around this, and uh, credit to uh, Mike Skadao in, uh, in the community, and I'll put the link in the description, um, who said that the workaround is to create a flow variable. And we'll do this estimated delivery date. String, and that'll be a string variable. And then the first action in our flow, or actually it's not an action, it's a flow logic, and it's going to be a set flow variable. And so we want to set the estimated delivery date string to the estimated delivery date. Now, when we go to this if statement, instead of using the estimated delivery date field, we can simply use the flow variable. And because that's a string, uh, we can just do an is and uh, leave it empty. So if it's empty. So now let's save this and give it a test. Took a little longer that time, so that's usually a good sign. So now it evaluated to true. Uh, and we can go back and see the fruit of our labor, missing estimated delivery date. Great. Now let's check the opposite case, just to make sure that it's all kosher here. So let's give it an estimated date. Save that. We'll go back here and We'll test this out again. And now it evaluated to false because it filled that value. In fact, uh, you can probably see, right, runtime value, see it fills it with, uh, with the date and time uh, as a string. So that is the workaround for dealing with uh, or trying to determine if a date is empty in Flow Designer.